Right now in Rexburg, Idaho, Lori Vallow, the mother of two missing kids, has not posted bond and remains in jail. An Idaho judge reduced her bond from five million to one million last week, and she needs to put up 10 percent or $100,000. But some are speculating that bondsmen are not willing to deal with the risk of a high-profile case. Authorities from multiple agencies are coming together under one roof for the first time since the search for her children. Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow began, and that roundtable meeting is happening here in Salt Lake City. New specialist Garna Mejia brings us the latest. Garna, who all is coming, and I assume they're pooling their knowledge and resources. That's exactly what they're doing. So Lori Vallow is linked to these investigations in Arizona and Idaho, and those are independent of the search for JJ and Tylee. Today is the first time that they're all going to be coming together for a face to face meeting, and we're hearing it'll be taking place over the next few days as well. Six months since Tylee Ryan and JJ Vallow were last seen in Rexburg, authorities from Arizona and Idaho are coming together in Salt Lake City. The FBI and the Rexburg Police Department, along with numerous other agencies involved in cases involving Lori Vallow and her missing kids, JJ and Tylee, are meeting here in Salt Lake City this week to coordinate, share, and review information. While Lori Vallow faces two felony charges related to the children's disappearance, detectives are looking into her possible involvement in the active death investigations of Chad Daybell's wife, Tammy Daybell, Lori's husband, Charles Vallow, and her brother, Alex Cox, as well as the shooting incident of Lori's ex-brother-in-law, Brandon Boudreaux. The FBI is focused on helping with the search for JJ and Tylee. We have a lot of resources available uh, that can help in this case. And so when Rex Rexburg asked us to assist, we, we did so. And we have been doing so. Sources tell KSL those meetings will happen today and tomorrow, although the exact location and specifics on what will be discussed are unknown. Now, this is nothing new. Law enforcement have been coordinating um, you know, all along, but this is just a good opportunity for them to be in the same room and have discussions face to face. Now, uh, authorities reiterate that because all of these cases are very active and there's going to be a lot of sensitive information that's going to be shared, they themselves will not be releasing any further details. In the meantime, they do tell us we reached out about Tammy Daybell's autopsy results as well as Alex Cox's autopsy results, and those are still pending as of today. In Salt Lake, Garna Mejia, KSL 5 News.